special right now. Dream a little dream with Susan, Steve, and Josh Rutledge. Give them a big hand, everybody. something that was in the uh, in the mission field and so this is that about right like that I, I can still see Josh swinging through the thing yeah. he's in my nightmares like so, um, so this year we decided to since it's Valentine's Day to talk go to a little Valentine's theme and so we thought we would talk about dream for this Valentine's so I have to dream of my life all the time this is for everybody who loves anybody. So if you look at the screen, not us, you will see uh, pictures of that. All right. You ready back here? Maestro. Star shining bright above you. Night breezes seem to whisper, I love you. Birds singing in the sycamore tree. Dream of a little dream of me. Say nighty night and kiss me. Just hold me tight and tell me you'll miss me. While I'm alone and blue as can be. Dream a little dream of me. Stars fading, but I linger on, dear. Still craving your kiss. I'm longing to linger till dawn, dear. Just saying this. Sweet dreams of some beings find you. Sweet dreams that leave a worry. Dreams, whatever they be, dream a little dream of me. <laughs> Brought to you in part by M. Uh, 
Know that mmm sound has nothing to do with the taste of the desserts. Anyway, oh, I see the multi family residential outreach is the only group in the church that has more volunteers than they can figure out how to use. I volunteered to go and talk to people, which is a stretch for me because I'm so introverted. But. If I can do it, you can do it. So come join the fun. You might just get asked to go meet some new friends, serve some food, or just sit back and do nothing. How many do you have just sitting back and doing nothing? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just joking about that nothing part. Grayson said there's a role for everyone. Am fro. Am fro. Brian. Okay. Uh, wait a minute, I lost my phone. It's about serving others and meeting them where they are in life. You know, a little like sharing an umbrella with somebody who's getting rained on. <coughs> Just a little bit of stress with this old ship. Well, passengers are well fed and happy. The crew is either working or resting. So does that mean there's a problem with the ship? Well, nothing to be really concerned about. Uh, at this point, however, between leaking pipes and rough seas, it's like the water waging war on both inside and the outside of this old ship. Well, this old girl has been through worse, so I'm sure we'll be fine. I mean. This is our last sale before she goes for a full makeover, so no worries. It'll all work out. <laughs> the passengers, oh, there they go. They didn't fall off. Come on, passengers. Yeah. I think we're missing some friends. Oh, hey, there you are. Hey, I hear the entertainment tonight is going to be so amazing. People dancing, singing. It's going to be so funny. It's going to make your belly jiggle like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> I hope so because I need something to take my mind off of how much food I've already eaten and how much dessert I'm about to eat. Oh, don't worry. They have so much happening on board. You won't lack for something to do. And I've got my duct tape and I'm going to work on one of my fancy wallets. My man is so talented. It just amazes me what he can do with the simplest things. Why, well, I've seen him carve an eagle with a chainsaw, cook a hot dog with a can of hairspray, and, and start his truck by splicing the wires together. And specific to duct tape, he has made a hammock, a belt, and even this tie that matches all his Miami Vice outfit. <laughs> wow. That is impressive. I think Matt has one too. If we need to catch and clean our own food, I know who I'm going to call right there. Hey, if I need a hot wire, I can borrow a truck. Like my brother's sweet F-150. I know a man with skills. I sure hope it all works out. Otherwise, I'm really afraid of what the passengers are going to do to help the situation. <laughs> I 